Little Red Riding Hood From the Blue Fairy Book by Andrew Lang and Lenora Blanche Allen Once upon a time there lived in a certain village a little country girl, the prettiest creature was ever seen. Her mother was excessively fond of her, and her grandmother doted on her still more. This good woman had made for her a little red riding hood, which became the girl so extremely well that everybody called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother, having made some custards, said to her, Go, my dear, and see how thy grandmama does, for I hear she has been very ill. Carry her a custard, and this little pot of butter. Little Red Riding Hood set out immediately to her grandmother, who lived in another village. As she was going through the wood, she met with Gaffer Wolf, who had a very great mind to eat her up. But he dared not, because of some faggot makers hard by in the forest. He asked her whither she was going, and the poor child, who did not know that it was dangerous to stay and hear a wolf talk, said to him, I'm going to see my grandmama, to carry her a custard and a little pot of butter from my mamma. Oh, and does she live far off? said the wolf. Oh, aye, answered Little Red Riding Hood. It is beyond that mill you see there, at the first house in the village. Well, well, said the wolf, and I'll go and see her too, then. I'll go this way, and you go that, and we shall see who will be there soonest. The wolf began to run as fast as he could, taking the nearest way and the little girl went by the farthest about, diverting herself in gathering nuts, running after butterflies, and making nosegays of such little flowers that she met with. The wolf was not long before he got to the old woman's house. He knocked at the door. Yes, who's there? came the voice of Granny inside. It is I, your grandchild, Little Red Riding Hood, replied the wolf, counterfeiting her voice. I have brought you a custard and a little pot of butter sent you by my mamma. The good grandmother, who was in bed because she was somewhat ill, cried out, Well, pull the bobbin and the latch will go up. The wolf pulled the bobbin and the door opened, and then presently... He fell upon the good woman, and ate her up in a moment, for it was above three days that he had touched a bit. He then shut the door, and went into the grandmother's bed, expecting Little Red Riding Hood, who came some time after and knocked at the door. Who's there? Little Red Riding Hood, hearing the big voice of the wolf, was at first afraid, but, believing her grandmother had got a cold and was hoarse, answered, "'Tis your grandchild, Little Red Riding Hood, who has brought you a custard and a little pot of butter that Mamma sends ye." The wolf cried out to her, softening his voice as much as he could. "'Pull the bobbin up, and the latch will go up.' Little Red Riding Hood pulled the bobbin, and the door opened. The wolf, seeing her come in, said to her, hiding himself under the bedclothes. Put the custard and the little pot of butter upon the stool, and come and lie down with me. Little Red Riding Hood undressed herself and went into bed, where, being greatly amazed to see how her grandmother looked in her nightclothes, she said to her, Grandmama, what great arms you've got! That is the better to hug thee, my dear replied the wolf. Grandmama, what great legs you've got! That is to run the better, my child. Grandmama, what great ears you've got! That is all the better to hear you, my child. Grandmama, what great eyes you've got! It is to see better, my child, replied the wolf again. 
Grandmama, what great teeth you've got. Well, that is to eat thee up, cried the wolf. And, saying these words, the wicked wolf fell upon Little Red Riding Hood, and he ate her all up. I'd like to take a moment to thank the members of the channel for choosing to support my work. Folklore and fairy tales play such a big part in my life, and I love being able to share them here with you. If you're interested in finding out more about channel membership, you can find all the information here, or in the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, and thank you again to the channel members for your support. And I look forward to hearing from everyone in the next video.